Minos here. Let's have the other weapons. Whoa, whoa! Hey guys, what is going on? So we're trying out the new weapons that are on the test server this weekend. The Scourge, or the Scorcher, the Scald, and the Incinerator. So these are kind of a weird weapon mix. So we're just if you read the description, it says a blend between like a rocket and then a flamethrower. And you'll see what I mean. So it shoots almost like an avalanche. That's the closest thing I can think of. But then it also has that flamethrower fire effect. And obviously these aren't fully maxed out weapons just because it's the test server. But it does give you kind of an idea of how they're going to perform. And notice that the canyon map does look more enhanced here. So this is probably coming to live server soon. So this is how it fires. So it does kind of look like an avalanche, but you know, with that extra fire effect. So I'm just waiting. They do about 500 meter range. 500 meters, come on. And like that. Alright, alright, alright. Enemy leech. And they do have a 10 second reload, I believe. You can shoot while reloading, but 10 second reload for a complete full uh, mag reload. And so, as I mentioned, they have a light, medium, and heavy, and we're rocking the medium on the leech here. Okay, so I'm just kind of looking around here with that leech. We still have our weapons. Uh oh. Just trying to get our weapons out. Jeez, see, even at this level, at level 8, they deal some pretty decent damage still. And it still really annoys me on the test server that they don't put the equipment up to level 12 at least. Because they used to do that. And now you just don't know how powerful weapons are going to be until they come on the live server, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of the test server. But I kind of guess it's a way for Pixonic to, you know, encourage people to get the weapons themselves on the live server and max them out. And notice how I'm hitting this Haichi here and it's going through his energy shield. So I guess they're not officially rockets. They're more flamethrower than rockets because they're going through that shield. So I have the light and the heavy version here on the Hawk. I'm just trying to see... Is that a hawk too? And this weapon could be pretty deadly. Like, definitely don't sleep on this weapon. I think I'm hitting this a bit. Alright, boom, there we go. Last stand triggered. And boom. And just think when I'm hitting a full health enemy. Like I said, this is not max level. I think max level right now would be pretty crazy. And a little bit overpowered. Because there's so many rocket weapons now. Now we have just like, you know, heavy versions. Exodus, Avalanche, Glacier. And now they're adding another one. Oh, here's an Ares. Oh, boom, there we go. And if you notice, since the rocket shoots so fast, you don't have to lead the targets as much as you would with, like, you know, Exodus or Glacier. These ones you almost shoot directly at the robot. In a 500 meter range, that seems a little bit extreme, honestly. Because these things, I think, are way more effective than the Avalanche. And the Avalanche have that same weapon range. Okay, we're moving, we're moving. Drop down. Oh, that guy just blew himself up. Here's it, a shell bot. Oh, I should have hit my... I should have hit my module sooner. And here is the Nightingale. Why are you moving so slow? What? Oh, why is this thing so slow? Oh, I guess it's level 8. I guess that's why. But man, this thing is slow in the air. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, 
they shoot so quickly. Alright, we're moving in, moving in, moving in. And supposedly in the description it also says, so when you kill an enemy they like blow up and kind of explode. And it damages enemies around them too. So I guess that's like almost like a splash damage effect. I'm not really sure what the radius is on that though. Because I know the Exodus and Glacier, if you hit an enemy and other enemies are close by, you'll hit you'll hit them too just because, you know, that's splash damage. But does that apply to these weapons too? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Minos here. Let's have the other weapons. Whoa, whoa! He's got pushed way up in the air. There's a Nightingale under us. Let's, let's take him out. Wait for him to drop down. Oh, he suppressed us. He's the same weapon build. And there we go, take him out. Take him out. And the thing I'll be really curious to see is how these weapons at max level will perform against Titans. Because if these things do serious damage, they'll be able to do damage to the Arthur. And the Arthur seems to be the most durable Titan, and probably the best Titan in the game right now. So imagine like a full maxed out heavy version of these weapons shooting at the Arthur, especially the Behemoth, that would be a good one to try. Point blank range on the Arthur, just unloading. So here we have the Fury, so you know, three of them will give a pretty good idea. I think that's a Wayland or a Raijin in the middle. Nope, somebody stole our kill there, but that kind of gives you a good idea of the damage. There's a Scorpion, we're just reloading, 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 reloading. And it seems like the Fury has died as well in the game. People are just not using it very much. I know it's a test server, but just in, even on the live server, the Behemoth's better for sniping, and then all of the robots are better for brawling. So it kind of just slowly disappeared. Ooh, there's an invader. So we're gonna unload. Okay, he seems occupied with my teammate. So I'm gonna try to reload here. Actually, okay, yeah, we just got suppressed. So now let's reload, reload. Oh, I guess he, I guess he stole that kill. All right. Because this is, yeah. Ooh, okay, that's also. This is not a full game I'm going to show. I'm going to cut this off just because there are some slow parts to it, so. Come on, show your face. Whoa, okay, we just ate that damage. This Waylon, why is this guy running Chimera? What are you trying to prove, man? Running Chimera on the test server? Oh, okay, we ran out of rockets there. I think max level ones, we would have taken them out though. Ooh. Boom, there we go. Oh, we got taken out pretty quick there. But, let's keep going. Let's drop the Nightingale build again. I don't know your rockets. And then I think on the live server, I just never, I don't know, I don't find it as a very entertaining or fun robot to use. Like, it's not just because it's healing, because I like the Mender, I like the Demeter, but the Nightingale just seems kind of boring when you just fly around and hover like that. And then the firepower is just kind of medium mediocre. Okay, weapons are loaded up here, so...
Ooh, that splash damage did not work. And we are locked down now. Probably gonna get taken out. Ah. Alright, last build here on the Lancelot. Boom, what is that, a Fujin? Alright, torched him. Is it torching or blowing them up if it's a rocket flame floor? I don't even know. I do kind of like the effect of the weapons though. But it seems more like a rocket than a flamethrower at the same time. Okay, we're gonna let this nodes kind of move in more. Oh, and we, he just suppressed us. What, I'm interested, what do you guys think about these weapons? If you've used them or just seen videos or this is your first time seeing them? Oh, can we get the kill? Ah, someone else got the kill. You think these are gonna impact the game? I think they could very much impact the game. I could see people running these on the Hawk. Maybe on the Nightingale. I don't think there'll be too much of a brawling weapon just because the Glacier and the Cry weapons already exist. So I don't see a whole need for these weapons. But at range, if, you know, Pixonic still needs to re-release Dreadnought and Yamantau. So those are more range maps that will probably increase people's need or want for long range weapons. And this is a tier, finish this guy off. But overall, I think it's a cool effect of the weapons. Hopefully they're not too overpowered, because they do seem pretty strong here, just on the test server at level 8. So, Mark 2, level 12, could be a different story. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Test server video. Until next time, peace. See you guys next time.